Are you converting your existing image labeling workflows to the new flywheel read task feature? Here's a quick overview of how to repurpose the contents of your OHIF configuration file to generate a viewer protocol that can be used for reader task creation. First, we will have to set up an account in Postman. Postman is a free API platform where we will be creating, updating, and deleting viewer protocols, as well as where you can pull the reader data directly from the system for analysis. Once you have created a free account on Postman, navigate to Workspaces and create a new workspace. Then, import the Viewer Protocol Starter Kit file linked in the description of this video. As you can see, the Starter Kit has a number of API calls pre-populated for you that we will use to perform different actions. But before we dive in, we will need to set up the authorization layer that connects Postman with your Flywheel site. Click on the Variables header to begin entering the pertinent information. Here, the variables needed are your Flywheel API key as well as the base URL for your Flywheel site. Log in to your Flywheel site and navigate to your user profile. In the Flywheel Access section, you should see a button that says Generate an API Key. Click that. Enter a key name you'd like to reference it by. Add key. And copy the newly generated API key. Navigating back to Postman, paste that new API key into the current value field for the API key variable. In the current value field for the Flywheel Base URL variable, Enter the URL of your Flywheel site ensuring that it starts with HTTPS and does not include a forward slash at the end. An important thing to remember throughout this setup process is to save your changes before navigating to the next step. We will now move on to creating our viewer form. Opening the form's API folder, you will see post, get, put, and delete actions. Select the create form call and open the body tab. The starting template for the viewer form includes where this form definition should be saved in the system or the parent, the name of the form, and which viewer it should be displayed in. The study form component section is where the form field definitions, the conditional display logic, and required actions are defined Navigating back to your Flywheel project, open your OHIF configuration file in the code editor. Find the JSON header study form, collapse this section, and copy its contents. Paste your study form contents into the body of the viewer form section in Postman and save your changes. Now you can activate the API call to save this form definition to the site by hitting the send button. If your authorization content is accurate and the necessary form structure has been followed, you will see a successful response in the panel below. Note the ID listed at the top of the response. This will be needed in the viewer protocol definition later. Now we will move on to creating the viewer configuration. Navigate to the Create Viewer Config Call and to the Body tab. There, you will see the starting template which includes the configuration name and the config section. Navigating back to your Flywheel project and your OHIP configuration file, copy all other aspects of the JSON outside of the study form section. This includes general settings, hotkeys, mouse actions, annotation labels, segmentation labels, and hanging protocol definitions. Paste your configuration contents into the body section in Postman and save your changes.
Hit send and verify that you get a successful response with a new viewer configuration ID. Lastly, navigate to the Create Protocol call in the Protocols API folder and open the Body tab. The starting template for the Viewer Protocol includes the Viewer Protocol label, which will be displayed in the Task Creation UI in Flywheel. A brief description of the protocol, areas to add the IDs for the Viewer form and Viewer configuration, as well as the location in the Flywheel system, where you would like to save the Viewer Protocol. Copy and paste the IDs generated by the successful calls for the form and configuration here. Finally, navigate back to the project in which you would like to leverage the viewer protocol. Via the URL, copy the unique project ID and paste it in the ID section in Postman. Save your changes and hit send. Once you see the successful response, go to the task interface and choose to create a new task. In the Read Protocol dropdown, you will see the protocol label you defined in Postman and you are now able to create read tasks with it. To learn more about viewer protocols and reader task data, Check out our other tutorial videos at youtube.com slash flywheel.io.